on the web and in your hands. This is MDI TV. Those of us of a certain age remember when almost every kid at one time or another had a pet turtle. Usually living in a clear plastic tray that had a molded island capped by a green plastic palm tree. Yeah, remember passing those little turtles around? Well, it turns out we were also passing around salmonella bacteria that's common on turtles and other reptiles. So in 1975, the federal government banned the sale or distribution of those cute little turtles, specifically pet turtles with shells less than four inches long. But it seems not everyone got the memo. For the third time since 2006, public health investigators have documented a multi-state outbreak of salmonella infections linked to pet turtles. This one was first noticed by health officials in Pennsylvania. A two-year-old girl got sick about three weeks after her parents bought a turtle from a street vendor. A national network designed to track foodborne infections known as PulseNet collected other reports of infections with an identical strain of salmonella. PulseNet data helped investigators with the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and state health departments identify 135 cases in 25 states and the District of Columbia. Most of the cases were in children. About half were five or younger. About a third reported contact with turtles. In many cases, the turtle was a pet in a daycare center. Pennsylvania Department of Health Specialist Dr. Andre Weltman, who contributed to the outbreak report in the CDC's Morbidity and Mortality Weekly Report, or MMWR, says many parents just don't know that turtles can carry diseases. Uh, a lot of parents and others are, are kind of surprised by this, and unfortunately the first uh, information they seem to be getting is when their child is ill with uh, something serious like salmonella. Um, we're fortunate no one died. Uh, there can be hospitalizations, though, with this bug. Uh, salmonella is not trivial. Um, in fact, the MMWR report that a weekly publication from CDC does, I believe, talk in the discussion or in the note towards the back about the fact that parents um, don't realize this. Uh, they were a very popular pet in the 1960s and 70s, and uh, unfortunately it was recognized that tens of thousands of children mostly were getting salmonella because of um, these cute little things put in their mouths, um, they handled them, they, no one thought about washing hands, it's hard to enforce hand washing with a small child. Uh, parents usually saw uh, these little turtles as pretty harmless pets. Public health officials are not sure if the apparent increase in turtle-related salmonella outbreaks indicates the pets are getting more popular or that health officials are just doing a better job of tracking infections. Meanwhile, professional turtle farmers have been challenging the federal ban on selling small pet turtles. In a lawsuit, they argue that the FDA failed to consider evidence that farm-raised turtles are almost 99% free of salmonella. In March 2010, a judge referred the issue back to the FDA. For now, the ban remains, even if it's not always enforced. And health officials say their advice also remains, don't give your kid a pet turtle. Sure, they're cute. You just can't resist picking them up and thus also picking up whatever bugs they've got on their skins. I'm Andrew Holtz, MDI-TV News.